Secret Ram Hidden Features. Some call them Easter Eggs. Well, good morning everybody and welcome back to Rob Motive FST. Real quick, if you're new here, or maybe you've been around a while and you haven't yet, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. So, real quick, before we get started on the Rams hidden or secret Easter eggs, we're gonna go ahead and add a little touch to the back of the truck. Now, as a YouTuber, of course I've gotta do some advertising. So what I'm talking about, if you look right down here, I have a Rob Motive FST YouTube sticker or decal. I'm gonna go ahead and mount that right here on the back window. I've already cleaned the window off and everything, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. You guys can come along with me real quick and then we'll get to the Ram Easter eggs. Okay, I have separated the front from the back and now we just have to make sure we get this aligned properly. There are some little dots across here that form a line. So I'm thinking I can just use those as a guide. I always get these things crooked, so I'm hoping uh, to break that mold <laughs> today. About like that. Looks good to me. There you go. What do you think? Look good? I hope so. That's it, it's on. I will push it down a little bit, but uh, you'll have to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. That takes care of that. Just a simple little thing. Uh, you guys can see right there. I know it's a little washed out by the light in front, but that's what it looks like on the back of the truck. Now, let's look at Easter egg or hidden feature number one. And this one isn't hidden so much, I suppose, but it's kind of neat, so I thought I'd point it out in case you hadn't noticed. Right here on the windshield, we have a ram's head. That's pretty cool. Just something that I think Mopar type products do, or manufacturers rather. Let's go over here real quick. I'll show you what I mean. On the Jeep, over on the side, over here, they also put a little gym, and it's a Jeep kind of going up a hill. So same kind of theme there. I just think it's kind of cool. Now for the rest, we have to step inside. We're gonna start right down below. If I can move this forward and I'll have to shine a flashlight down there for you. If you look down inside, you can see right in this area, like I said, I need to turn a flashlight on it. Uh, right in that area, do you see those trucks? That's an homage, if you will, to all the different Ram trucks uh, that they have put out. There are, it looks like, four different body styles, if you will, all across uh, that little uh, ledge. And what it, this is for, it pulls up, I'll show you here, like so, so that things that are in the front can't make their way to the back. That's what it's for. But just kind of neat that they put uh, the little trucks on there just to show the different models, I guess. Now, next up, this one is pretty apparent, and you may have noticed this already. Right here on the back of the console lid, when you extend the full lid up, I guess, we've got a different bunch of different mathematical things. You've got a, what is this, a trigono, trigonometric, trigonometric rating, or ratios. That's been a long time since I dealt with any of this kind of math, but it says uh, trigonometric ratios. Below that we have the Pythagore Pythagorean, geez, I can't even say it anymore, uh, theorem. Uh, that's what this is right here. And then over to the left we have a protractor, uh, some kind of ruler there, looks like it's in inches. And then below we have a standard to metric wrench conversion chart. In case you're somewhere and you need to know what the uh, standard size is as compared to metric. And then over on the left, we have a fraction to decimal chart. Kind of cool. And then just a RAM uh, manufacturing logo, I guess. This is designed in Auburn, Michigan. 
Auburn Hills, Michigan. So just something kind of neat. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, next up, we need to go to the back and take a look at the floor. So let's, uh, let's do that next. Of course, I'm talking about the Ram Benz. Now, this isn't so much of a hidden feature, obviously. It says Ram Ben right there. Although, if you're not familiar with the Ram, you may not know what that means. Unless, of course, you actually lift up the floor mat. So, let's throw the seat back here a little bit. And we'll lift up the floor mat, get it out of the way. And I like, by the way, how they have it secured here, but not up here somewhere, so it's in the way if you want to get to the Ram box. And by the way, we have one on each side. There's the same thing over there where you can see it says Ram Ben. Of course, if you're not familiar with this, it opens up and you can store stuff down there. Now, I know a lot of people where you see those little kind of shiny round areas have actually drilled through and I uh, use these as coolers. You can throw some ice and maybe some beverages in there uh, to keep them cold and then of course they would drain through on the bottom. Now, the next little hidden gem is the, uh, the rulers or the measuring guides, if you will. You have a standard, it looks like, across the top, and then across the bottom you have metric right there. Now, one other thing that I actually kind of just discovered myself today, this little uh, bin actually lifts out of there. Uh, I never really paid any attention to that before. Uh, as I drop it all over the place, but it does lift out. So if you needed to clean it or anything, that makes it really convenient. Or let's say you didn't have a tape measure with you, you could pull this out and use the guides that are on the top of the box itself. Again, both metric and standard. Now, taking a look back down in here, you can see they also put those little holes, they're not actually holes, but the little shiny round areas, so that if you were wanting to drill through, for some reason, you could drill through and have holes. Now, let me put this back in, easier said than done with one hand, and then we're going to take a look underneath because I wanted to see real quick what it looks like underneath to see if indeed it is just that easy to drill through if you wanted to. Oh, and by the way, one other thing I want to mention, you'll notice I do have a little bit of a storage area here. Mine did not come with that. There is a version that's very similar to this. Um, that comes on some trim levels where you can actually, I think, extend this out for more storage if you want, where it would come out to probably the front of the seats. I made this myself. Uh, I think it's perfect. Allows you to store things down there without them rolling out all over the floor. So just a little touch I added, I guess. Now, let's take a quick peek under here. I want to see how these boxes are actually situated. I believe they just come through and they do. If you're able to see, and hopefully it'll lighten up a little, right here's the box. Uh, it's the same on each side, and then of course if you were to drill holes, they would come through right here, and you can see there's nothing below in the way. So it could drain freely, no problem. Okay, those are the hidden Ram truck features, or Easter eggs, that I recently just discovered myself. Are there others? Is there something that I missed? Leave a comment, let me know. And real quick, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there and that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Also, real quick, I do have two additional channels, Rob Motive, all about my 2021 Toyota Tacoma, and Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, why not subscribe? Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.